Right guys, today we are on a day three and we are going back to the center where the Doma Cathedral is to check out the inside and also the roof as well. And then we're gonna see a few museums today. So we've got a lot to do. Let's go and get on with it and show you Milan. Alright guys, today we start at the top of the Domo Cathedral, so I'm actually on the roof. So top tip is, opposite here there are some tickets that you can purchase, there's a long line usually, but what I've done is I've purchased a separate ticket for the lift and I've gone from the south exit which gets me onto the roof first. So we're looking at the roof first and then we'll go down and have a look at the cathedral. <laughs> Right guys, so I'm on the roof of the Domo, um, I, I can't describe it, so I was a bit worried at first thinking, you know, is it safe going on this roof? But what they've got is everything behind me is all marble and the amount of marble here is phenomenal and we're around the back at the moment so you can see a little bit of scaffolding around this side you can't actually see it from the front of the building so what they're actually doing so if you can see this side here um, some of the stonework is sort of a little bit grayer and darker but if you look a little bit further up can you see this tower here so that tower there has been all stonewashed so all of this will eventually look like that one there. So the front of the building is already stonewashed like that. So the attention to detail is phenomenal. So if you have a look at all the architecture, all the detail, there's lots of statues on here. So the statue over there, um, really great. I, I can't describe it. I just wish that the, the sun was a little bit stronger than it is today because this is one of those places where you want to come and just enjoy on a beautiful day. You can just sit here and see the views. You've got drone shot views of the whole of Milan from over here. And I've just noticed a small building that looks like a mini version of the Glata Tower in Istanbul. Um, so I'm not sure what that one is, but I'll check that one out later. Uh, it's going to be a top tip. Um, for coming to the Dormo because the front is extremely busy and I found it slightly um, quieter coming from the back and do take the lift because the stairs are quite a lot um, so it is worth paying a little bit more I think it's something like 22 euros or 26 euros something like that top tip start with the lift and then work your way down Alright guys, I have finally made it to the top of the Domo. Have a look at this. All I can say is wow. So on one side you can see a little bit of the Swiss house because we are very close there. Um, the queue that you can see behind me is actually what people are doing is walking through the sides over here, checking out the drone shot views and then queuing up over here to go all the way back down again so yeah the queues guys are phenomenal here but it's something worth coming and seeing fantastic views of the all of milan from here After about a hundred steps or so, we are delighted to be inside the cathedral.
have to whisper for this one. I hope you can hear me. I'm inside the Domo Cathedral and oh my God, I'm in awe. I've seen many, many cathedrals around the world, but this one is truly amazing. Number one fact is that you can actually go on the roof of this one, which is all made out of marble. Inside, I have no words. I'm keeping it quiet just to be respectful. Um, we are in the place of worship, but I just wanted to bring it, uh, you know, the beauty of this place to you guys and show you this is the heart of Milan. This is what it's all about. Um, and this is where their culture begins from. The stained glass windows behind me have so much detail in there. There are probably about a hundred um, pictures inside that stained glass, which are all very, very detailed. Uh, lots of detail, lots of architecture over here. The detail is truly phenomenal. Um, I'm standing behind one of the, the biggest organs in all of Milan. Uh, they're absolutely huge. This whole structure is actually an organ and there's several of them. There's two or three of them uh, over here. So we're just going to carry on walking around now, show you a little bit more and then we'll show you on from the outside as well. So guys, Turkish vibes, they are also selling roasted chestnuts here. So just been to the top of that and then about 200 steps later, down to the bottom there. Right guys, now I'm a little bit peckish. All you guys out there have been telling me to come down to Spontatini, which is just on the side of the ga famous Galleria. And I'm gonna go in and check out the slice of pizza, which I hear is the fluffiest and the cheesiest that you have in Milan. Let's go check it out. stand and eat in this one there isn't any seating area there are other ones so we've got one actually right near the hotel where we are and by the station which actually is one of the larger branches they have a seating area this one unfortunately doesn't but i'm hungry so i'm gonna go in this one now let's check it out one here I'm probably pronouncing this wrong one is called fungi and one camavera which is uh, basically rocket and a bit of cheese and uh, some nice cherry tomatoes on there and the other one is basically with mushrooms so let me just go into here and show you how fluffy you can get into one that is basically how it is it's cheesy and fluffy goodness let's try this one. wow I think I'm gonna have to take a couple of more of these before I go. Right, on to the next place for food. This is a hidden little gem that I have found. Um, I had a lot of recommendations to come to this place because this is where the locals come. So this place is called Luna Rossa. It's about a 10 minute walk from the main Domo uh, Cathedral. Um, so it's north from, from where that is. It's a little gem. This is where locals come to eat. And you can see the sign of greatness when you start seeing these little things at the table so we've got here balsamic vinegar we've got olive oil and we've got good old salt 
from Lidl. As well as that, um, complimentary, they've given us some cheese and some bread to start with. So um, there are mostly vegetarian options over here, which is what we've gone for today. So I've gone for a creamy sauce, um, authentic uh, pasta that I've gone for today. They do pizzas as well and a few other things, but the main thing I'm here for today is to try uh, the pasta. And authentic pasta is what I want to try. And that's the thing I've got to show you is this. Um, now I know it looks like a portion, but actually what it is, they have actually given us a litre of a draft coal. Is that for us? Bring it in, no problem at all. Thank you so much. Okay, and the first item has arrived. The salad. Wow, I do like the presentation. I like the bowls I've got over here. And a decent portion of salad there to start with. I mean, I'm big. I'm big on salad. I normally eat more salad than I do with the, the meat and things like that. But no meat involved today because we've gone to a vegetarian option. Mostly you'll find, um, I found the same when I went to Rome as well. Most of the pizzas, pastas, things like that, mostly have um, a vegetarian option. And to be honest, they're salted, they're tasty and delicious, but you don't actually feel the need to have any meat. Um, so I was gonna show you this one. This little portion thing is actually one liter of Coke. And um, I've got to say, it's a lot tastier i don't know why but um in most of europe and um, the coke is much tastier uh, next thing now is going to be the pasta wow so i'm big on clean sauce this is just so delicious i don't know if you can see that on the camera but this comes with mushroom peas um some uh, dressing that they have over there and also uh, this comes with uh, the penny pasta which is probably get in the uk as well but very delicious this is um, got to recommend it i recommend it do try it 